I've been making a lot of mistakes lately. Some avoidable, some stupid, some I don't want to even talk about. This week's video is not very much like anything else I've done. I've wanted to explore how making mistakes has been a massive part of my photography over the past few months. And trust me, there has been so many mistakes. The story starts like any other story. I'm out on a photo walk, making photos with my Willem Verb Mamiya set up with the eye level finder, the Portra Mamiya RB67. It's really the meta for taking modern photo walks videos. So I was thinking to myself, this area is stunning for a photo walk. I'm really enjoying this. This is a great area. It's a suburb I've never been to and I was just getting into it, you know. I thought last week's video went so well with the photo walk, I'm going to do another one. Well, I made my photos in a beautiful suburb and here are some of those now. I'm cruising around. My friend James, who's also my studio mate in the studio, he's taking some photos with me. It's a great day. We're having a great time. And you might be thinking to yourself, Liam, where's the mistake? The photos look fine. Yeah, well, look, the photos that you're looking at are actually photos that are fine. Now look at this, huh? Does that look fine to you? This one is green. That's not good. Completely green. So what actually happened here was that I went into the darkroom after shooting these photos and made an error. I accidentally added Blix, which is the second part of development, back into the developer, which is the first part, and ruined the entire developer. So the first roll was fine, but in the processing of that, I put the Blix in the bottle and ruined it. Now what came out is green photos, but you might be wondering what effect does that actually have on film, and I'm going to show you that right now. These are a series of images that came out of that roll. They were green negatives, but the software managed to bring back a fair bit of the coloring. I guess really the moral of this story is that brushing doesn't really help any creative process. There's nothing that you can do to make some things go faster and mistakes are meant to be made. They're a part of learning and they're a part of whatever creative outlet you have. And this is one of them. The photos didn't turn out that bad, and as much as I lost some developer and some chemicals, I think it was a pretty interesting experiment. No matter. I think that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching the video. It has been a pleasure having you here. My name is Liam James, and my Instagram is in the link below where you can see a lot of these outcomes. It is at Disfigured Space. Like this video if you like this content, subscribe if you want to see more of it, and thank you very much. Have a nice day. A really, really nice day. Cheers.